I would invite everybody to gather in close and let's just open a little aisle and remain standing, of course. There's no chairs. There's a few chairs over here. And we'll begin this committal right with military honors. So we're just going to come right through here. Okay, guys, so we're probably going to, I reckon we'll fold over here. So if y'all wouldn't mind spreading out a little bit so we'll have room. Okay. And there's going to be rifles shooting off, so when we tabletop, just be aware of that, okay? Alright. Detail!
to encourage you to gather in closer if you'd like. We return to our Lord Jesus Christ, praying that you, Lord, by your own three days in the tomb, hallow the graves of all who believe in you and made the grave a sign of hope, even as it claims our immortal bodies, it promises resurrection. Grant that the earthly remains of our brother Bill rest in peace. And may you, who is alive in the resurrection, awaken him to glory. And may he see face, God face to face in, in his light, see light, and know the splendor of God who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Because God has chosen to call William Bill from this life, to himself we commit his ashes to the earth, for we are thus and into thus we shall return. But the Lord Jesus promises to change our mortal bodies to be like his own in glory, for he is risen, the firstborn of the dead. For our brother Bill, we pray to Lord Jesus Christ, who said, I am resurrection and life. Lord, you consoled Martha and Mary in their distress. We bring comfort to Bill's family, dry the tears of those who weep. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayers. prayers. <coughs> you wept that the grave of Lazarus is your friend. Comfort us in our sorrow, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayers. prayers. Give to our brother Bill eternal life that you promised to him, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord forgive whatever sins he committed through human weakness and give him fellowship with all your saints we pray to the Lord, Lord Bill was nourished with Christ's body and blood grant him a place at your table in the heavenly kingdom we pray to the Lord, Lord comfort us in our sorrow at the death of Bill let our faith be our consolation and eternal life our hope, we pray to the Lord. Lord. With longing for the fullness of God's kingdom where there is no more death, no more suffering, uh, but light and life, we pray as Jesus told us, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, Almighty God, through the death of your Son on the cross, you destroyed our death. Through his rest in the tomb, you hallowed the graves of all believers. And through his rising again, you restored to us eternal life. God of the living and the dead, accept our prayers for Bill. While Lynn, Rosie, and all who preceded them in death and are buried with Christ in the hope of rising again. Since they were true to you on this earth, let them praise you forever in the joys of heaven. We pray to the Lord. Lord hear our Merciful God, you know the anguish of the sorrowful. You are attentive to the prayers of your faithful. Bring light of comfort and consolation to Bill's family and the assurance of God's lasting goodness. Bless them and keep them in your love, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. That concludes the ceremonies of the grave site. Thank you, Father. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Always just remember, Grandpa. We go hiking on on Wednesday up in the mountains. Uh, probably about a couple years, two or three years, and we go every Wednesday. And we just talk about life and God and family and just all sorts of stuff. And we always listen. He was always always had kind words to say, always just there, you know, we took, took all the dogs, 
<laughs> packs of dogs. We had six dogs at the time. <laughs> and it was just, it was really good, really fun to be with him. That was the most lasting memory of my life with him. You know, just, just the memories that I have with him. Uh, there are several, but nice. I'll always remember that, Grandpa. Grandpa always helps me in my math homework. <laughs> <laughs> I just remember Kazi. We used to always go up to Kazi and every year. So, and he'd always cut that log. So thin. I'm like, put it all on, Grandpa. <laughs> and we'd go to Mueller Park in the mornings um, very early, bring the dogs, our dogs, and remember Buddy very well. And Love that dog. He died in Coggy. Yeah. <laughs> very, very, very Next to the river. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm just grateful that he taught me a lot about um, loving the earth and um, taking in all of nature's beauty. Grandpa was the most accepting person that you will ever meet. Anyone that crosses paths would say the same thing. But he was always there for each and every one of our anything that we were doing in life. He was there. He showed up for every single person here. And that's the thing I will always respect the most. I was lucky enough to get zoomed every week for the last year. And Every time I left, I would say, I love you, Papa. And he'd say, good for you. <laughs> <laughs> Until last Tuesday, I said, I love you, Papa. And he said, I love you, too. Aww. Like Dustin, I had the opportunity to go on many hikes with Papa and Sean when our schedule <laughs> was available to. And I didn't even have a problem finding the picture that we took on top of the mountain of Papa and his dog. And Papa and us, and Papa and my mom, and I don't even know why we thought to commemorate that. But it was just so picture perfect Grandpa with his hat shirt wide open. <laughs> <laughs> Same shirt, always. Yeah. And again, just so very grateful that not only I got that opportunity as an adult to have that time with Grandpa, but so was Sean. And that he loves, he loves Grandpa just as much as I do. I remember Grandpa from cleaning up all the leaves in his backyard a couple years ago. <laughs> <laughs> Having like 20 bags of just leaves just sitting out on the curb in the front of his house. The trees. <laughs> chicken. <laughs> Rosie would make a salad and she'd bring me a bottle of wine because she knew I needed it because I had young kids. <laughs> so we'd sit and talk. He'd have a tea party with my girls. We'd play cards and talk a lot about God. He always wanted to tell me about his God. And I loved that. You didn't have to be in Utah for him to be there for you. He was always there. I 
I remember a time living in LA and he literally showed up on my doorstep <laughs> <laughs> like maybe gave me a, a day's notice and um, I had to take Rosie to the emergency, not the emergency, the urgent care and he just was like, like they were just such free spirits and didn't care like about what they were, what their next plan was, they just wanted to be there with you. And he followed me everywhere I ever lived. And always showed up for me. And I will always have those memories with me. And I was very lucky to bring Cade to come see him this year. And he didn't know who me and my mom was for anything. But as soon as I pulled Cade out of the car seat, he lit up and as everybody said he was all about all of us and that is very 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 special to all of us for hours and what I find so interesting is that even if we all have the same memory it seems like he made each one of us feel like we were the most important person in his life in that moment and he wanted to know all about your life he wanted to not just have surface level conversation he wanted to really know you and to listen to all like we're a large group and the fact that he did that for every single one of us is so special I can't imagine the reward that he is reaping for all the love that he has given to so many of us. There was a couple times he was riding his bike shirtless when we, all of us were at recess. I remember the two wheel bike. when I was super young I was super fascinated in you know uh, dog buddy 
and he could like shake and you know, sit down and grandpa was always so prideful about him and felt so accomplished that he was able to like teach him you know how to sit how to shake how to lay down <laughs> does conclude the Catholic Committal Rite. <coughs> um, on behalf of Father Andrew and Father Norman, Monsignor Mayo, of course, I want to thank everybody for coming. Uh, take the time that you need here. Uh, it should take about a half hour, 45 minutes to finalize things. You're welcome to stay here. Uh, if you don't, you can come back and come back often. Um, and then I want to extend an invitation to remind everybody about tomorrow, uh, Bill's celebration of life at the funeral home. I believe it starts at three. Is that it? Yeah, three o'clock. So, uh, whenever you're ready, you can come on by. We're we're excited to have everybody there. We've really prepared a nice celebration for him. So, hopefully, we see everybody. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.